Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn six point agenda diagram in PowerPoint. The diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? You can use this diagram to talk about any concept which has multiple uh, factors around a core or main idea and the details around it and things like that. So let us see how to create this uh, diagram which we have used to showcase six point agenda. The first thing we're going to do is to go to auto shapes menu and under basic shapes you will find this tool called as oval tool. Click on it and draw an elliptical shape here. This is going to be the shape which is uh, going to create our entire diagram. The next step is to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then placing it here. If you want to know whether you have placed it the right way or not, I mean to satisfy your requirements, you can go to No Fill here and you can go to No Fill here and see if they have been placed um, at sufficient distance. If you are not satisfied, maybe you can always move the shapes um, till you are happy with it. Now select both these shapes, make, make sure that you, are, uh, you have them aligned properly. So go to Arrange, Align and Align Center. Now with this done, you can press Ctrl G and you have one set created. Next press Ctrl D to create the second set. This time right click go to format shape. Sorry not format shape actually. Uh, click on this one. Right click go to size and position and have the rotation to 60 degrees. Now this is done. Now take another one Ctrl C Ctrl V. Once again you can find the size and position by going to format tab and clicking by clicking on this one option called a size here you can find the same pane coming and this time 120 degrees you have this in the opposite direction now you can see that all of them are um, scattered helter skelter whereas I mean you can get them all aligned properly by selecting all three now that you are in format tab go to align align center once again align align middle and there they are they are all in proper um, alignment now I am going to have fill color for each of them and also I am going to add an oval in the middle to hide the this uh, this shape here which is not really the center centerpiece here which doesn't look very organized so I am going to hide that with this oval tool all these shapes can be combined together by pressing Ctrl G and then press the circle arrange align align center arrange align align middle to make sure that the circle is right in the middle of all these shapes done now let us um, color these I am going to first ungroup all of these so group ungroup and even here group ungroup so every individual piece is isolated separated first let us take this shape I am going to use orange I am going to increase the transparency to say 15% This one I am going to use uh, say aqua color once again 15%. Let me use a blue color here once again 15%. For this I am going to use green and 15% transparency and we are going to use red if need be or maybe purple is good enough 15% and 
and finally maybe um, tan color 15 percent i can add white outline to all these shapes so that you can clearly see these shapes i can have this one in white color so it looks like these pieces have been stuck um, one on top of the other and to make this look even better i'm going to remove the shape outline go to effects option go to shadow and i'm going to put an inner shadow maybe this one is a good one inside diagonal top left and that looks like these pieces are arranged one of one on top of the other as a result of which there's a small shadow that is cast inside now the final step is to add relevant text in each of these uh, shapes to complete the diagram so that is how we create six point agenda diagram in powerpoint there are many ways you can create agenda diagrams in PowerPoint and I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs. The first example is this one, which is about six questions agenda, which means the structure of the presentation is in such a way that you have six questions answered in the presentation and each of the questions can be written here in the associated label. The next example is this one which is about agenda for today's session. These black shapes talk about the various breaks during the day and these shapes talk about the session duration. For example, the session on idea visualization is here, session on slide design um, starts from say 1.30 to three o'clock and things like that and all the various sessions have been arranged on the dial of a clock so that is one way to create a creative agenda another way to create agenda is this way where you have five different directions that you can take on a given idea and we have each of these ideas available I mean that come on click this is another simple agenda slide where we have four agenda points and uh, this graphic looks like this is a curved card placed on a background and here all these four are leading to one objective. So those are various ways in which you can create agenda uh, in PowerPoint. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create elaborate and professional looking diagrams for yourself, you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO Packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating six-point agenda diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to go through more such articles, more such uh, tutorials, read articles that improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or watch videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.